Hey guys, welcome to Porter's five month update. I cannot believe one month in one month, well less than one month, Porter is gonna be half a year old. Time is flying with him. I feel like with Grayson, time didn't go that fast and everything went really slow because he was my only. Now that I have two kids and I'm like super busy, the days just fly by and I blink and he's another month older. Porter, I think he's gonna talk this whole um, time, so I'm sorry if that annoys you. Porter um, is 16 pounds now. He's a little over 16 pounds. And he is um, 26 inches tall. Um, those are like official. We haven't been to the doctor. We'll go next month, but that's just what I got from being at home. Um, the big thing with Porter this month is he finally learned how to roll over from back to belly. So now he can roll over both ways. Belly to back and back to belly. Basically, if he wants to get anywhere, he rolls. Um, he can't crawl. He can scoop backwards, um, but he usually just rolls everywhere. Um, and he loves rolling. He does not like being on his back very much, but then he rolls to his stomach, and then he realizes he really doesn't want to be on his stomach either. So he gets kind of frustrated with that. Porter has discovered his feet this month, and so he is always trying to chew on his feet. I'll show you right now. Um, he hates socks. His poor little feet are always so cold, and so I put socks on him to keep them warm, but then he always tears the socks off, and then I can't find them around the house. So here's a picture of him <laughs> chewing on his socks. He loves being naked most of all. <laughs> um, he, cause he's most flexible and the pants aren't like restricting him at all and so he can just get those feet all the way up into his mouth and chew on them and he loves that. <laughs> um, he does not like having clothes on or getting dressed. <laughs> he just doesn't have the time for that, doesn't like laying down to get dressed. Um, Porter still loves to be held. He hates it when I put him down, ever. Um, if I put him in his play gym, he might be okay for five minutes. But other than that, he hates it. I'm trying to get him to sit on his own, and so I'm like prepping him and sitting him a lot more, but he gets very frustrated and does not like it. He does like to stand, um, which he has for like several months now. So I will put him up and he will stand, and he does like that. He's very close to crawling. Um, he does this skydiving pose, I call it. I'll put a picture here. Um, basically, he goes on his belly and he picks his arms and his legs up at the same time, and so I think it looks like he's skydiving. Um, he has figured out how to push all the way up on his arms to crawl, but he does nothing with his legs. His legs are like dead weight. <laughs> so he um, needs to work on that. So yeah, we are not crawling yet, but he sure wants to. When, he is, when I put him down and there's an object, he tries to reach it and grab it. Um, anything I bring into him, like by him that he can reach, he does reach for it. He loves to reach and pull my hair now. Um, and he loves holding onto his teethers. He loves his Sophie the Giraffe teether and his banana teether are his favorites. But yes, any object that is close enough to him, he will reach and try to eat. <laughs> Speaking of eating, he's still on 100% breast milk, although we have added in baby cereal. So we started that this past month. Um, he did rice cereal and that basically took us the whole month to get through. At first he hated it. Um, I included a vlog about that. Um, so go watch that if you want to, but he hated it at first and then he grew to like it. And by the end of this month, he eats it just fine. Um, next we're gonna start on oatmeal. When Grayson was this age, he hated the rice, but he loved the oatmeal. So I'm very hopeful that Porter will like the oatmeal baby cereal. So I'll, I'll definitely let you know. Um, next month, once he turns six months, we will start um, solid and like purees and things like that, so more to come. But yeah, he eats a lot. I do notice that he's eating less during the day, um, so it's like my milk is sustaining him longer, and he sure does eat, sorry Felix is coming in the frame, and uh, Felix, get off. 
and sorry about that and he does um, he eats a lot during the night so kind of eating and sleeping tied together he's sleeping horribly um, we had a little bit at the beginning where he was starting to go down to only waking up like once or twice a night and I was so excited about that and then it's like he totally went on the opposite direction and so more often than not he's waking up like four or five times a night it's really like every two hours which is a bummer. Are you tired? He's like rubbing his eyes. He um, wakes up, like I'll put him down. His bedtime is 7.30 um, and that's pretty consistent. Sometimes 8 but usually 7.30. And then he wakes up at around 11.30, 12.30 and then every two hours after that until um, he usually gets up around, up around 7. Sometimes he wakes up as early as 6. He did that one time and that was terrible. Um, sometimes he sleeps in, like today he slept in until like 8, 8.15. So um, his sleep is all over the place. He never has the same sleep schedule. Even his naps, he is, he's consistently taking two naps a day, but it is not consistent at all. Sometimes he takes his morning nap at 9 a.m. Sometimes he takes his morning nap at 10 a.m. Um, and then his second nap is anywhere, it, it depends. Sometimes he takes a half hour first nap, so then his second nap is a lot earlier. Sometimes he takes a three hour first nap, and so his second nap is a lot later. He's never the same. It's very difficult to keep track of. Um, so I just kind of go on his schedule and whatever his sleep cues are, like rubbing his face like he is now. Um, whenever I film these, he seems to get tired I don't know why so yeah anyway he's just all over the place um, I'm really hoping that he starts to sleep better moving on um, I don't know I'm hoping the baby cereals lasts and help him helps him last longer um, maybe next month we'll start like solids and purees that will help him I don't know if I'm not producing enough milk for him. I don't know, there's like a million questions, but every time he does wake up, I nurse him and he eats and then he falls right back asleep. So um, he's gotten a lot easier at putting down and falling asleep. The sleep training is going really, really well. It used to be that I would put him down and he would immediately cry forever and I'd have to keep going back in and you know, rocking him and putting him down and he'd cry more. He's gotten much better at just um, me putting him down and him sleeping. Sometimes he might cry for like a minute or two, but for the most part, he's just content. And so that's been really nice. But yeah, the sleeping at night is just terrible. <laughs> By this time, at this age, Gray was only waking up once a night. I wish I had that because Porter is not that easy. <laughs> this month has been kind of difficult. Porter's been really cranky. He's been teething still. He drools like crazy. He has no teeth in yet, um, but he's constantly eating his fingers, eating my fingers, eating his teether toys. Like he's definitely teething. No um, teeth yet though, like I said. Um, and so he, it's made him very cranky. He's also in his next developmental leap. So th I think that's adding to it as well. He's learning about relationships, I think. I can't remember. He, so he's been super cranky. And anytime I put him down, he freaks out and is mad. <laughs> and so it's really hard to get anything done while he's awake. Um, it's hard to help Grayson. And my oldest, Grayson, he will want to have me hold him. He always says, mama hold you, mama hold you. And I'm like, I can't hold you and Porter at the same time. Like he's 16 pounds and Grayson is 30 pounds. Like I can't do that. So it's like I gotta take turns. I put Porter down. He starts freaking out, crying. So it's been really difficult <laughs> um, this month. I'm really hoping that next month is better. Mood wise, I guess we will see. It kind of seems like the first month was really hard with him. The second and third months were pretty easy, and then the fourth and now the fifth month have been really difficult. We'll just see what it takes us, I guess. Okay, sorry about that. I had to put Porter down for a nap. He was getting fussy, as you could tell. <laughs> Porter is talking a ton, as you saw beforehand. He is babbling all the time, talking. He's a very serious guy and he does not laugh hardly ever. It's very hard for Anthony and I to get him to laugh. Sometimes he will. Um, we try to tickle him and he just like grunts. Um, the person that gets him to laugh the most is Grayson and Grayson doesn't even try. He just like jumps around and Porter thinks it's funny. <laughs> um, so yeah, by this time like Grayson was laughing a lot more. Porter is very serious, does not laugh that much, but he, he 
he smiles a ton, um, especially when I come get him up from his naps. That's like his happiest time. He's so happy. And then it just kind of goes downhill from there and he just gets grumpier and grumpier until I put him back down again. <laughs> Porter also loves looking at his reflection in the mirror. He thinks that's so fun. If he's ever fussy, I'll just put him in front of a mirror and he loves looking at the mirror. Um, so that's really cute to see. Grayson was super into his mirror too. He used to give himself kisses in the mirror, so I can totally see Porter doing that as soon as he gets a little older. I have heard Porter start to say the mm sound, and I swear I heard him say ma, like mama, but I'm sure it's just him like sounding out the word. I did feel like I heard him say the da da, like da sound too, but maybe I've only heard that once. I've heard the mm sound a lot more, so maybe mama will be his first word. I'm pretty sure Gray's first word was mama. Pretty sure it was, so I'm waiting to hear if Porter will start talking a little bit, little babble sounds here and there, but for most part, it's just like yelling <laughs> or screaming. <laughs> Another big thing that happened this month is Porter graduated to the big bathtub. So I used to bathe him in our sink in a little like flower petal thing, and then he just got way too big for that. I mean, he's a big boy. So I then moved him to the big boy bathtub, and I have a little bath seat that I put him in. And so now I do baths with both boys together, Porter and and Grayson. Um, I made a vlog about it. Go check it out if you want to go see their first time having a bath together. It actually goes really well. Um, Porter loves the bath time. Gray loves having Porter with him. Um, they play together. Sometimes Grayson will splash Porter, but Porter doesn't usually get too upset about it. Um, Gray takes like hour baths. Porter lasts about 15 minutes, but it's something. Porter loves to splash and he loves looking at all the toys and he tries to get a hold of the wet washcloth and like suck the water out of it. So he likes the bath and it goes really well. So I'm really happy about that. I, that was one of the things I was really looking forward to is being able to like bathe both of my babies at the same time and have them start to interact. and. I feel like just at the end of the fourth month and starting the fifth month now, I'm starting to see a little more interaction between Grayson and Porter. Grayson will give Porter high fives. Porter, if Gray gets close enough, Porter will start to like grab Grayson, like grab his shirt or his hair. So it's really fun, like they're just starting to notice each other, I guess, and like, care, <laughs> so it's fun to see. In addition to Porter loving his play gym, he also loves his bouncer. Um, not as long as the play gym, but he does love the bouncer, although he does not know how to bounce in the bouncer. Um, I've gotten underneath and I'll like grab his legs and push up and down like this is what you're supposed to do. And he gets the biggest smile on his face. He thinks it is so fun to bounce. But he, then when I let him do it on his own, he will not bounce. By this age, Grayson was bouncing on his own and he was bouncing like crazy. He loved bouncing in the bouncer. Porter does not, he just stands there. It's so funny, I cannot get him to learn how to bounce. So hopefully th later this month he'll figure it out the swing is basically like a thing of the past. Um, anytime I put Porter in it, he tries to like wiggle himself out of it and the buckle on it's like just getting too tight. So I'm gonna have to put that down in the basement, which is kind of sad because I don't know, the swing's always fun. And he likes looking at the bears for about us a minute and then he gets tired of it. So I'm gonna have to put that downstairs. Porter is getting better at his car seat. This whole past month, he was not great and would cry anytime we got in it, especially even like if we go for like a five minute car drive to my parents' house, he would just cry the whole time, hated it. Now, like towards the beginning of the fifth month now, cause we're a couple days into the fifth month, he actually is getting really good in the car and will be quiet. He's got a little toy bar that he likes to play with. He like touches the animals and they, and they they have like shakers and stuff and then also has a teething ring so he'll teeth on that and he actually does a lot better in the car now so I'm like oh my gosh there is hope. <laughs> uh, my sister and I took the boys to a little play area and that was about like a half hour away and the whole way there Porter was great. He was happy and didn't cry at all. Don't ask me about the way back because he cried and screamed the whole time but <laughs> he is doing better, so there is hope. Porter um, is a very sensitive baby. He hates loud noises or sudden movements. Um, like he was sitting um, and I was holding him on the ground and my parents' dog, Berkeley, she's a mini Labradoodle, nicest dog ever, comes over and starts giving him kisses on the cheek. He started bawling, crying because he, uh, I don't know, it like spooked him or scared him or something. Um, the other day my sister brought over her huge dog, Dakota, um, Dakota's a golden labradoodle, golden doodle, something like that. Golden burnadoodle, I think that's what it is. I don't know. Anyway, she brought that dog over, Porter was laying on the ground, 
around. Dakota didn't even go like too near him. She just like walked by him and Porter started freaking out crying. And we were like, didn't understand what it was at the first time. And then the dog walked over again and he cried again. And we were like, oh my gosh, he's afraid of the dog. So things like that scare him. If Grayson's and Porter are in the crib together and Grayson's like moving the mattress, Porter will start freaking out about that. Gray likes to scream a lot and so Porter um, like freaks out about that. So it's like different, different things kind of shock him. Also, Porter is just now starting to get into the stranger danger. My brother and future sister-in-law um, were holding him the other day and as soon as he looked at their faces, he had the huge, like biggest sad face and started bawling crying. Gray never like had stranger danger issues. He liked everyone, didn't really care. Porter is a lot more shy. I'll be holding him and people will come up and they'll start talking to him and he will bury his face in my sh shoulder like to get away from them. So it's kind of funny to see, I guess, the different personalities, but yeah, he's definitely starting to learn like, he doesn't recognize everyone, I guess. Porter loves when I sing to him. I've made up this little song just using his name, Porter Hudson. And anytime I sing it, even if he's like crying, he will stop and start smiling because he loves that song so much. So that's really cute. I try to like sit him and read books to him. Will not want to sit still enough to like even look at the book, care about the book, like he's just over it. <laughs> so that's been kind of hard. Um, Gray and I like to sing songs to him and he'll listen here and there and then sometimes he gets bored with it. So it's just kind of, hit and miss, I guess, with songs and books. Porter used to have a, like a huge ball spot in the back of his head because I always laid him on his back and he stayed on his back like sleeping and stuff and so it would just like wear through all the hair there. So I had a really big bald spot. Now that he's rolling all the time, he's he likes to sleep on his stomach more than his back and so the hair is starting to grow in on the bald spot and so um, he's looking better in the hair area. I've also noticed that his hair is starting to grow a lot more, like it's getting thicker and I also think it's getting lighter too. If you look back on like pictures of his, of when he was first born, like I'll insert a picture of that here. And then I'll insert a picture of his like five month picture here. You can tell like he had way dark hair when he was first born and now it's actually starting to get lighter. I almost thought, thought I saw like a red tint to it. But anyway, it is still brown, which gray was brown all the way up until his first haircut right at a year old and then turned blonde. So we'll see what Porter does. Yeah, I think that's kind of it. I mean, this is gonna be kind of long, I guess. So I should probably end it here. Um, but sorry, I didn't have Porter to end the vlog for you guys. He is sleeping I think. I heard him crying a little bit and now I don't hear anything. Um, but now Grayson is up so I need to go get Grayson but I wanted to film this while Grayson was sleeping because if you've seen any of my vlogs, Gray does not like it when my attention is not completely on him. Anyway, <laughs> thanks for watching my vlog. Um, make sure to su subscribe, leave a comment down below, like my video, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!